Hi, this is Josh Bradley with iMarketingMagic.com and today we're going to talk about how to design a lead capture page and more importantly the five components that each lead capture page should contain. Now one of the most important skills an internet marketer can learn is how to design a lead capture page the correct way. A lead capture page is a single page focused website that really only has one purpose to capture information and convert your visitors into subscribers of your marketing list. Now on the technical side of things, all you really need to build your own lead capture page is a web host, a website building tool, and an autoresponder. But the goal of this video isn't to talk about the technical side of building these small websites, and instead we're going to focus on the five components that you must include when you design a successful lead capture page. Now the first component we're going to talk about is a powerful headline. And the headline is located at the top of your lead capture page website and needs to be intriguing and thought provoking. If your headline piques your visitors interest, they're going to continue reading. And if it doesn't, then they're probably going to leave your website and look for something else. When writing a great headline, it's important to consider what your target audience is, is looking for and then craft that headline as though you were speaking directly to them. It's also important to make sure that your headline stands out by using large font size and utilizing the underline, bold, and italicized functions on keywords or phrases inside the headline. The second component is the body or kind of the meat and potatoes of your capture page. Since the body is an extension of your headline, it's important that the body of your website expands on the job that your headline has already started. The written text inside the body should be brief but descriptive. Plus, you want to highlight what it is that you are offering and what your subscribers will benefit by leaving their information. Now, I suggest using bullet points to emphasize key features and benefits of your offer. This helps break down information into small bits that are easier for the reader to digest and understand. You should also keep your paragraph short and consider underlining, bolding, or italicizing important benefits and action phrases. This is known as fonting up, and fonting up your copy will keep your visitors motivated to continue reading and their eyes scanning down the page. The third component is a call to action. Now when you design a lead capture page, the call to action is crucial to increasing your opt-in rates and building your marketing list. Many marketers make the mistake of assuming the visitor knows what they should do next, and you don't want to take the chance and instead tell them exactly what they need to do and what they're going to get for doing it. Provide your visitors compelling step-by-step -step instructions and consider using arrow graphics or a sub-headline directly above the opt-in form. The fourth component of a successful lead capture page is an autoresponder form. Of course, you can't build marketing lists if you don't have a way to capture your visitors' information, and this is where the autoresponder comes in. An autoresponder is an essential tool for any online marketer and will give you the ability to create opt-in forms, build databases, and follow up with your databases via email marketing. Now, I recommend using AWeber because they have great customer service, an easy-to-use control panel, and most importantly, your emails consistently get delivered. After you set up your autoresponder account with AWeber, all you need to do is create a web form that you will place on your lead capture page. Now this is easy to do and you can create web forms that will capture any data that you're looking to target. For example, name, email, phone, even mailing addresses. The fifth and final component of a successful lead capture page is a privacy statement. And a privacy statement is the last thing that you're going to end up putting on your page. And this is designed to let your visitors know that you will not share, rent, or distribute their information. By including this, your visitor will feel more confident about providing you with their email address, knowing that they won't start getting emails from hundreds of different people. In closing, learning how to design a lead capture page is one of the most important skills you can master as an online entrepreneur. Make sure you focus on keeping your pages simple and avoid posting any external links or complicated navigation bars. Remember that a lead capture page website should consist of a single page that encourages your visitor to subscribe to your newsletter or list. And for more information about lead capture pages or internet marketing in general, please check out my website at imarketingmagic.com or visit my blog at inprofitonline.com.